Welcome to How to Green Bridge. Let me just start with that. I had no idea there will be a green bridge in the end. So basically, when I escaped, I just started with Hydrocotyl, CF, tripartita. Left side and the right side. You know, because I didn't really know what I'm doing. Do we, any of us, have any idea we're doing? What? I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, I read that this plant is basically a newbie approved. Should be fine. You know, with some CO2 and good lighting and good fertilization. Because I have some, some fancy pansy ferts. It should grow fine. Should, should, should do fine. So I just went with it. And then that happened, so... Bear with me, that's basically my story. <laughs> I just let it grow and grow and um, it reached out for the light and and the bam, an idea came that maybe I should, you know, tangle two sides. Just get them out from my... Rotala, SP, Colorata. Just tangle them together, make a scarf, basically. A bridge scarf. Not a complicated, just of course you need some good, nice tweezers. Not to squish and squash your plants, because the bad ones kind of mess things up. <laughs> but basically, you just take them and tie them together. Kind of. Just loopy loop and scoopy doop, and uh, it should be fine. It's not as difficult as that. You just need some patience, of course. Patience is the key. And good fruits. Is this plant kind of like more water fertilization than soil, I would say? Because basically just getting out into nooks and crannies and just through the plants and do its own thing. That's how it, you could make like different shapes without needing any support or getting this plant into actual soil. It, it kind of does its thing. So yeah, you, you, you just take that and tangle together. Uh, not as complicated as that. You know, fishies love the bridge thing. They just love the plant mass and all, all the shrimpies and all babies just go in the bowl and have a good time. And I have now a huge colony of these shrimps. It's so much fun. But I basically started with three shrimps and all of those three died. It was two boys and one girl. So basically before the mom died, she let out all the babies and they survived. Not the parents though. I've I'm so sad about the parents. But their legend lives on within the babies. A little baby. But then you might ask, you already had a pl that plant bridge, you know? Why, why did you make a new one? What happened to the previous one? Well, it, the plant mass became so huge, it kind of got off my circulation. And all the nasties started to grow, like cyanobacteria and all the other ickies. And they kind of destroyed my plants, sadly. I had to cut everything out. And they just took out the whole bridge and dunk it in a huge 45 liter um, IKEA plastic box with some water. I felt so sad just to throw it away. And actually, after a couple of weeks, I noticed there was baby shrimplets. Apparently, not all of them managed to escape my destruction. And they, they grew in there. And I ended up with eight shrimps. Now live in a third tank. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, well, and you know, I, I love shrimps. I like fish. Most like the, the whole hobby thing, you know, with the plants and stuff. But come on, shrimpies are awesome. They're, they're like little, little flying butterflies of the water. Really. Yeah, fishes I would call birds. Birds are awesome. Fishes too. But come on, shrimps, they, they can come and nibble on your fingers, and it's just so fun. Oops, sorry, <laughs> but I try usually after maintaining, get some nice scratchies and tickles from them. You know, I'm the master, <laughs> I basically take care of the world, they can't do nothing to me, nothing, I tell you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the, the, that's basically how you do it. And of course, main thing, do not forget your tool maintenance. That's important. Please, please don't forget. I know you have shit to, 
tweezers because you thought time's going to save some on them. But even if you don't, save, save, take care of them. So after maintenance, yeah, let's take a look. And I know in the beginning it looks like shit, but uh, bear with me. It's going to look awesome with some time and maintenance. After some time, the branches are going to start branch out and reach out in the sides and into other plants. But keep on tangle them in there, you know, into the shape you want. And of course, poor fishies, they're always terrified. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I was thinking now just to leave you to the shrimpy thingy and uh, let you enjoy the view, rest of it. I have some in mind for the future upcoming videos to make more how-tos. Basically trying to figure out stuff together with me. Because like I mentioned before, I, I, I don't think any of us really know what the hell we're doing. We might think we do, but we don't really. Because you never know what's gonna happen with this hobby. Oh, one day you come back and the whole tag is on your floor. Well, that hasn't happened to me though yet. And I hope it will not. Because my husband is gonna be pretty mad. But anyway, so... Don't don't forget to see upcoming videos. It's gonna be fun. And I mean, good luck looking for small plants in your area. I'm sure there are very nice sellers in your area. Well, I'm based in Europe, so I go to different stores here or online. But I, I know some in US nice small ones also, like uh, Chichi's Aquatic Dreams, and you know I've heard about Corico. Don't know, not sure. I think they're selling on the fishies. Not sure. But let me know if you know any good ones. Well, anyway, ha have fun looking for plants, because that's a nice poses too. And most important, have fun, yeah? Uh, I see you. Or I hope not, because I hope you don't stalk me. I, I don't like people. I guess you see me. Bye!